Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a video on this in so long and I'm really excited to film this today. I'm going to be giving you my big sister advice. I asked you guys on Instagram and TikTok some questions and I have some questions and prompts that I will be talking to you guys about today. I feel like I am the designated big sister to all my friends and I am a big sister of three. I feel like this video was just meant to be filmed. And also please ignore my fake tan hands. I borrowed my sister's mitt and she was like, you don't need to put like plastic gloves underneath. So I was like, cool. Um, she lied to me, basically. But it's fine. We're just going to get straight into the video. I also have a bit of a cold, so please ignore that. So the first prompt is, a guy I'm talking to keeps leaving me undelivered and airing me. What do I do? This is an annoying situation, especially if you really, really like that guy. But all I'm going to do is immediately stop talking to him because if you carry on talking to him you're going to end up growing even bigger deeper feelings for him that he clearly is not reciprocating and he's not giving back to you so why do you need to waste your time and energy on him you know what i mean like he's not the love of your life if he was the love of your life he'll be answering your messages so my best advice is to not dwell on the fact that you know he's not giving the same energy back because he is clearly not worth your time or your energy and he's clearly a boy, he's not a man, you know. If he was a man, he would, like, explain to you why he's not replying or why he's, like, leaving you undelivered. Don't mess with that. Literally, just stop talking to him as a whole because it would do you good as well. So, the next question is, um, the best skincare and makeup products. So, even though my skin has broken out, I'm such a skincare girly. I'll quickly go through some of my favourite products with you. First of all, I love Glow Recipe. I have the toner and the niacinamide dew drops. And they're literally my favourite thing. In summer, this saved my skin. And I would never, ever choose a different toner. I love it so much. But Moisturizer, the Willowder Skin Food, is literally my favourite thing ever. If you guys want a cheaper serum, the Niacinamide by The Ordinary is super good. It got rid of so many of my acne scars. And I literally love this product so much. If you want your hair feeling super silky and smooth, I would definitely recommend the Gizu or Jizu hair oil or the Sol de Janeiro leave-in conditioner. I literally love this product so much. And for makeup product, the Holy Grail, of course, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Foundation. I use the shade Shade 2 Fair Slash Light. This is my new favourite concealer. I joined the hype never leaving the hype this literally deserves everything um this is in the shade medium one custard i love this rare beauty contour stick she is like so nice and smooth and milky i love it and i'm also a sucker for the rare beauty blushes i'm so sorry about my hands by the way they literally make me feel a bit nauseous and sick because like, why are they so orange? Why are they so orange? The last product I'll show you if you want your makeup to last all day, I definitely recommend the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's this called? The Airbrush Setting Spray. So the next prompt is, I want to start a YouTube channel, but I'm scared people would judge me. What do I do? I love this question because as someone who started their YouTube channel in year seven and decided to promote it to literally everyone in their year, Ooh. I exact I know exactly where you're coming from. <laughs> we start a brand new school and I'm there promoting, go follow my YouTube channel, everyone. Of course, people are going to make fun of me. You know what I mean? Like, God knows what I was thinking, but it's got me here. So I can only complain a little bit. The sad, sad fact is even if you were the most perfect person in the world, people would still try and find a way to judge you. But most of that is out of jealousy, them being too scared to do it for themselves. And just because you've put yourself in a vulnerable position doesn't mean they can make fun of you. You know what I mean? But people do. People make fun of me all the time because they're bored. People on like my lives on TikTok have said the most outrageous things. And I'm sat there like, I don't care. Like it's kind of, it's unfazed me now. I'm like, okay, cool. And then, and then they reply with, oh, I'm just joking. Just trying to get a reaction out of you. Like it's, it's literally proven that most people that spread hate are trying to get a reaction out of you. They're trying to piss you off. They're trying to just like ruin your confidence a little bit, which can I say is stupid like who in their right mind is doing that but also their opinions do not define you for example if someone came up to me and was like you're ugly lottie do i just suddenly change how i look no i don't suddenly turn ugly you know what i mean like they do not define you like whatsoever and even if they're doing it like behind your back it doesn't make a difference to you like you're still doing what you want to do you're still living unfazed you're still like trying to make your dream come true it doesn't really matter like you live one life if your dream is to be a content creator and you have to put your all into it like it doesn't matter what you want to do put your all into it you've got one life just try just give it a go and and see where it turns out. The same person also just asked for general YouTube advice. Obviously, I don't have a massive platform, but I have kind of been in the, industry sounds like the wrong word, but I've been in this kind of 
area for a while so like i know like some bits i'm in an agency like things are going well my biggest piece of advice which is probably the most annoying piece of advice because i bet that you get that all the time um it is consistency is key i'm actually filming a trying to take social media seriously video this week and i have genuinely found out that consistency is key i say if you want to do tiktok film all your tiktoks in bulk and then post free a day i know that's 21 a week but it's going to be worth it and i would say find yourself a niche it doesn't have to be too specific but if you're just in like um either like beauty makeup fashion like all of that if you find yourself a little niche and you decide you know when you've got a big platform you want to move that niche people will follow you to that other niche because they know you and they like you as a person but if you're posting a video of like i don't know like roblox and then you do a makeup video and then, you know, and then you do a travel video. As much as they're cute, and you know, some people may still watch them. If you're genuinely trying to take it serious, realistically, that's probably not gonna be the reason why you blow up. It's probably not that common that people would follow you if you're just posting random videos. But then if they're like, oh, they do like so many like um, beauty videos, I really like their beauty videos, they will follow you. Then they realize they love you as a person, and then you can just kind of do whatever. But that's probably my biggest advice. And another piece of advice, just do it. I know you might be thinking, oh, what if it doesn't work? What if it does? What if that was the biggest step you needed to take? What if that was the one step you needed to take? And it's like, oh, I don't know if I like that video. What if that video is the reason why you blow up? You know what I mean? You just have to give it a go and you just have to try. And I guarantee you can do it if you just put your mind to it. And yeah, sometimes you might be like just flying into the deep end, but you can swim. You can do it. And if you can't swim, learn to swim. If you can't swim, learn to swim. Okay, this makes me quite sad because this was me. This was me. I want to order what I want to order at a restaurant, but I'm scared what my friends will judge me what I want to eat. And I feel for this very deeply, whether that's fake friends or trying to be a people pleaser or people who are gonna judge you for what you wanna eat. Like I'm really, really scared of like picking up something that's like a little bit like, oh my God, I don't like that food. And then people will be like, ew, that's so disgusting. Cause I have had multiple friends that have done that to me. And I've only recently found a group of friends who actually just won't judge me for what I wanna eat. So a lot of this comes down to people pleasing or just like wanting to fit in or like, you know, don't wanna be like the odd one out. Cause like, I know if I was like, going to a dinner with a group of girls and they all order a pizza and i want to order pasta like like even though it's so simple and like and it's you know it's totally fine like like sometimes you can just feel a bit out of place or like the odd one out which i totally understand but if your friends are seriously judging you for what you want to eat first of all you're the one eating it not them like it's not like they've got some kind of severe allergy they're just being judgmental and those are not your friends i'll say that right now those are not your friends like i would never ever judge someone for what they're eating if we're going to a restaurant and i only fancy like a little pasta dish and you want a burger you want a steak you want fries you want literally half the menu i will support that i was like you know what girl you get it like i would never be the type of person to judge someone for what they want to eat like at the end of the day it's going into your body you're the one eating it if you fancy it you have it like if they're seriously judging you for that and not your friends like like i've known some people who genuinely like will judge them for what they're eating and they're like oh my god like that's so disgusting or like oh like why are you eating so much it is so damaging to someone's either mental health or their well-being or their eating habits and stuff like it is so unhealthy and those are not your friends like i used to have like prawn sandwiches i'm um, in a meal deal and i just i like them fair enough you know what i like them i'm gonna eat them you know what i mean and I like, I put it into like, into school and everyone was like, ew, oh my God, Lottie, that is disgusting, ew. And I felt so embarrassed to eat my food. I ended up not eating lunch. But sorry, what type of friends are they? You know what I mean? Like, that's just so stupid. And now I'm with my new friends and I literally said to one of my friends, I was like, I want to get a prawn and mayo sandwich, but I'm scared you guys are going to judge me. And they literally, all together, all of them were like, no, do it. Like one of them was like, I don't like it, but it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't affect me, you have it. And then everyone was just like uplifting me for like what I want to eat. I was like, they're the type of friends you need to keep. Like, honestly, don't waste your time with fake friends. I got to the point in year 11, but I would rather zero friends than fake friends. And I literally had like one true friend and that was Becca. So we love Becca. Once again, we're coming up to exam season. I feel like it's exam season like every single month ever um i'm lucky enough to not have exams my whole um college and um my course is coursework based which 
my favorite thing ever. I freaking hate exams. But I did pass all my GCSEs and I did actually get really good grades. And my sister's going through her GCSEs right now and quite a few of my friends are doing A-levels. So I thought, you know, it's quite relevant that someone asked for exam advice. My biggest piece of advice would to obviously have regular break. If you're doing like 30 minutes of work, have like a five, 10 minute break. Five minutes of work, five, 10 minute break. Like the Pomo Pomodoro timers, I think it is. I love them, they're really, really good. They keep you motivated and they avoid you from having burnout because I feel like being burnt out is such a big thing in exam season. I feel like it's not talked about enough. Break everything down into sections, just make, I always have a plan. I feel like that's like me. I always have a plan for everything. Make a to-do list for every day, like, oh, study a bit of maths, do a bit of um, science revision. Like just like a little bit of that and like the topics that you want to revise. I ended up teaching myself the whole maths GCSE because I was the only person in my class that was on foundation and my teacher just kind of gave up with teaching me. And I had a tutor, didn't get on with the tutor. Well, actually, he was a lovely, lovely guy. Love him so much. But I just didn't really, like, understand, like, what he was saying. I just felt, like, stupid. And I ended up teaching myself the whole thing. No one else could. So I told myself, like, it is so doable. And that was someone who's failed every single one of her mocks. As in, I failed every single one of my maths mocks. And then I ended up coming out um, with a five, which is the highest you can get on foundation. And I was so proud of myself. Like, if you just put in all your effort now, it pays off differently. So, you got this. And if you don't want a more in-depth study video, I do actually have one that I did last year. So, it'd be in the link in the description if you guys want to check that out. This one, I love this one. It is how to smell nice. Smelling nice is like the the best thing you could ever do. Like I have this constant fear that I don't smell nice. So like me and Katie, we literally take like seven sprays to college. Like we love it. We have this massive fear of not smelling nice. So my biggest advice would be to obviously like shower every day. You don't have to wash your hair every day. I don't, especially like if you're a girl, um, washing your hair every day is bad. Don't do that. Um, but you know with body wash and stuff and once I come out the shower I always have like a moisturizer I have a little coconut one and then I always put on like coconut body spray and I also have coconut body wash So like I feel it like because they all the scents match it makes just my scent stronger if that makes sense like, I don't even know if that's true or not, but like it just feels like it for me if you're allowed take like sprays to college or school body sprays or like have like a really nice perfume. I definitely recommend like investing into one as well. Use a good deodorant. Like I feel like a lot of deodorants are good. I love wild deodorant because you literally only need to put it on like once, maybe twice a day, and it will just keep you from like smelling bad. I always get mascara everywhere. So the last one, which I love this question because I have done so many videos on healthy habits and keeping motivated. That was coming from someone who used to be extremely lazy. The question is, I'm feeling unmotivated and lazy. How do I up keep healthy habits? You have got me right there. Literally watch any of my videos and I will talk about somewhat of a healthy habit because I like to up keep my healthy habits because girl, I used to be lazy. I used to be unmotivated. I used to be depressed. Like, it was not good for me. So first of all, I always like to write down what healthy habits I want to upkeep. And it can be something so simple as in drinking water or making my bed in the morning or, you know, have a form of exercise, reading, journaling, literally anything. So I write down all the healthy habits I want to upkeep. And then if you're really, really like, like a plan like me, I would say, right, then I would tick them all off as like, as my day goes by. And I, and I kind of like think to myself, I'm like, what am I going to benefit from an hour of TikTok? Realistically, nothing. Realistically, nothing i might find like one funny tiktok that i'll repost but realistically it's not going to benefit me whatsoever like you need to stop living your life through other people's lives live your own life keep up your habits learn something new do something with your life please like i know it's stupid me saying this because i want to do tiktok and you know i want people to watch my tiktoks like okay yeah a bit of tiktok's fine but like I know some people that would watch it for like six hours straight and that's bad. You went on a walk, you texted me. Look, I just went on a walk. I was like, and I'll, I'll reply, but like, that's amazing. What did you see? Did you see a rabbit? Did you see anything cool? Did you go get a coffee after? Like, you know, keep keeping those healthy habits literally make you amazing. The days where I'm the most motivated, I wake up early and I make my bed 
and I make myself a coffee and I drink a glass of water and then I'm feeling prepared for the day. And then the days where I lay until like 12, I lounge around in bed, I watch TV and then I like mope downstairs, do nothing and then I get back into bed. When the day finishes, you're like, what the hell have I done? I wasted a whole day. That could have been my last day on earth. You know what I mean? Like as much as motivation, sometimes it's just easier said than done. And if I could just sit there and be like, just do it just do it but then sometimes it's just like like you've got this like you will benefit so so much if you just got up and did it and yeah you might have days where you just feel super unmotivated and that's okay you can take it at like your own pace and you don't have to like do everything in one day but it's like just do it just do a little something to make yourself proud every day let me take my little roller out that was actually like perfect timing and those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And can I say I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for your constant support. You guys are literally my favourite people in the whole entire world. And I love you guys. Bye.